Tonight, a community in the San Bernardino Mountains has a real mystery on its hands. The official explanation here is that jet contrails are causing strange lines in the sky and that it's pollen making people sick on the ground. But others are convinced it is something else. And they ask, is the government experimenting with our weather? There was a huge dust cloud. Longtime Cedar Glen resident Gretchen Sherman says she has never seen anything like it. How yes. big was it? Oh, it covered the entire Cedar Glen area. A cloud of dust, leaving a sticky yellow slime all over her car. It happened again last February, and calls began pouring into the local Alpenhorn newspaper. And they had a tremendous upsurge of children that were not going to school at that time. Pharmacist Ed Burroughs says it is the most mysterious illness he's seen in 22 years on the mountain. A lot of eye infection problems, resp upper respiratory problems, uh, nosebleeds. A nearby March Air Force Base say it didn't come from them. Others said it was a pollen cloud. The Department of Health found a yellowish tint on a tissue submitted for testing. But, quote, there was no sign of any biological form, such as cedar pollen, and the test was ruled inconclusive. And it wasn't long before things ballooned into a sky-high mystery. The story is not just here in Crestline in the alleged yellow cloud. People say the government is up there in airplanes spraying all kinds of chemicals to change or manipulate the weather leaving what you see there, and they call that a chemtrail. So what I look at there and I think are contrails, you're telling me are chemtrails. Yes, that a contrail would be dissipated by now. It would? Yes, it would. Chemtrails. On the Internet, they are cited as proof of the government creating clouds to combat global warming. In response, the Air Force says that, quote, there is no such thing as a chemtrail. The actual contrails are a safe and natural phenomenon. And that people are seeing more contrails simply because there are more jets forming large clouds, depending on weather conditions, as in this video of alleged chemtrails shot near San Francisco. I think these are contrails. Professor Gregory Benford of UC Irvine works with the Department of Energy on weather research. That's very odd. They, they could be very large contrails. He says the DOE doesn't know of any jets spraying chemicals to affect the weather. However, he says, we will probably see it in the near future. You've got to, in a sense, engineer all these, so you get the right kind of clouds for the effects we want. It is called geoengineering, fighting global warming by putting a chemical dust in the atmosphere and reflecting harmful radiation back into space. You could use barium oxide, for example, uh, which makes big fluffy clouds. You could use tiny little bits of aluminum, which is benign in the environment, and essentially manage the climate. And what I found was unusual spiking since the early 1990s in barium, aluminum, but Roslyn Peterson of California Skywatch says health department records show a sharp increase in both chemicals in the water supply of Northern California, dating from the time the huge contrails first appeared over her home in Mendocino County. What's the significance of the barium and the aluminum? I went and got all the tests, and all these things in the same test would be up way over state and federal standards. It had to be airborne, because how could it get to such diverse regions of our county? We have jets going in every direction, X's, east, west, north, south, circles. There is something going on in the air. I don't know exactly what, but I think there's some experimentation. Is it legal? I don't know because we haven't had a public discussion. But what is unknown today may be actual fact tomorrow, thanks to a bill soon to be voted on in the U.S. Senate, a Weather Modification Act, calling for research in, quote, attempting to change or control by artificial methods the natural development of atmospheric cloud forms. Doesn't it seem to you that they're going to be doing it in the future for sure? Yes. And if they are, I want to know about it. In the meantime, a lot of people are wondering if they'll ever get clear skies and a clear answer. The legislation is there, therefore somebody's thinking about this. How does this make sense? I don't know, maybe over, they're practicing? Over Cedar Glen, <laughs> over, over, over Arrowhead. Okay. I guess you have to try it out before you use it. Um, I'm not sure. Well, you be the judge. We'll keep you posted on anything further on this story, and there will be more, that's for sure. More information on the weather modification proposals, check on our website, NBC4.tv.